Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 5, a par 5 of the Buying Yard Acres in the Vintage Open Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Let's go! So, the drive. I'm going to play with a Titan. I do want to have a power 3 ball for, of course, the drive, but also for this second shot. And when we do have a little bit of a headwind, but also crosswind, I'm going to back up a little bit and play a little bit like in terms of like medium distance of the bunker on the right. To just give myself room to be able to bounce under the trees with that second bounce. We're going to over adjust our drive 10% due to the downhill uh, downhill approach here. Max topspin which is 6 bars of topspin and also some side spin here to kind of like keep us as close to the left uh, rough as possible. For the second shot it's super important, especially if you're playing with a power 3 ball, that you're going to use a wood club that gives you as much distance possible. And therefore I'm going to play with the big dog, because we can either do a two way for the approach, or either need to go with a lot of old power and bounce itself to the green, or we can go with top spin to bounce the second bounce in the rough to roll out onto the green. We do want to have both options if possible, but at least have the top spin uh, possibility in the end if we mess up completely with the drive. If we would be having tailwind, the thing that I would do in here though, is that I would be playing over the bunker on the right, you can see that bunker there on the bottom, to go with some curl to the left to roll as close to the top left of this fairway. The closer we are to that top left, the easier the second shot is going to be. Now you can see that we have a long way towards the green still, even though we're using the big dog level 8. So, once again, big dog, cataclysm, whatever you feel most comfortable with, but gives you a good amount of distance, but also topspin if you do want to go for the rough bump. But I'm going to go for the overpower shot and bounce myself directly onto the green to just make sure that I'm getting into the green as I do, as I feel that I can rely on my overpower skill. But if you do not feel confident with the overpower, then you try to tr uh, trickle uh, it down towards the green by doing a rough bump. But don't be mistaken, this is a super tough par 5 and if we can get this ball to the green for an eagle, we're gonna be happy with that because we're going to see people missing this eagle and making a birdie. So, drive, 10% downhill, second shot, nothing, I'm just playing it as it is. So, this was hole number 5, part 5 of the Vineyard Acres in the uh, Vintage Open Tournament. If you do like the video and the content, please hit thumbs up before you go. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the Vintage Open Tournament.